Angola is swiftly emerging as a center for investment opportunities in Africa. Why should international investors look to Angola in their future investments? Angola has gone a long way since 1975 when we got independent and uh, since 2002 when the internal war ended. The economy has doubled since 2002 to 2012 with a GDP uh, that averaged between 40 to 45 billion dollars in 2002 and 90 billion dollars in 2011. International estimates say that uh, or predict that the GDP will be around 200 billion dollars in 2020 which makes a lot of growth potential and business opportunities for the for internet for local and international investors. Angola has also started in 2006 a huge reconstruction program uh, with the investments public and private investments on uh, roads, bridges, schools, uh, hospitals, uh, a lot of public investment that uh, aimed at creating better uh, conditions for the for the Angolan population and creating a better business environment, uh, which can attract more more investors. It's 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 also important to know that Angola since 2010 has been um, rated by the print by the main rating agencies uh, with the with the rating of double B minus with a stable outlook, which is also very good and create a, creates confidence on international and local investors. Oil has traditionally been one of Angola's main pillars, but which alternative industry sector should investors consider and why? Oil has been a very important and strategic sector for the Angolan economy. Um, in 2002, oil represented uh, almost 90% of, uh, of, of the national GDP. In 2011, the share and the importance of oil has decreased a lot as the other sectors of the economy have, 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 have grown, like mining. And I'm not only talking about diamonds, I'm talking about uh, copper, uh, coal, uh, gold. I'm talking about public infrastructure as well, like roads, hospitals, bridges. And there's a um, huge potential on, those, uh, on that sector as well. There's a huge potential on the agribusiness and fisheries. Right now, only 3% of, of the Angolan land is used by, for agriculture purposes, so, which means that there's a lot of potential as well. How has Banco Atlantico contributed to the country's development? Since its inception in 2006, Banco Atlantico has been very active on the Angolan financial system through its investment banking business and to, through its relationship banking business for both uh, individuals and corporate clients. We've participated in some very important um, structural projects for the Angolan economy uh, in various sectors like energy, for example. Uh, Banco Atlantico is currently the sixth bank, sixth biggest bank in the Angolan economy and the Angolan financial system, and through that we've 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 also contributed to the expansion of financial services and banking service to services services to the whole, to the whole population. Banco Atlantico, um, as a, as an Angolan institution, is very active as well and very and very committed to generating employment for for the for in the Angolan economy. Uh, we've created uh, 500 uh, jobs directly through our bank and we've created, we've created another 5,000 uh, jobs uh, indirectly through our subsidiaries and, our, and the businesses we, we invested in. How significant is it for banks and other companies to safeguard corporate social responsibility in Angola and how does Atlantico get involved? Um, corporate social responsibility is a very important uh, matter. In, in economies like Angola, and uh, we, Banco Privado Atlantic, we take it very seriously. Since day one, uh, that was one of one of the main aims and one of the main objectives of the bank was to have a corporate social responsibility program. We've created Logush, which is called Luanda Organizing Games on the Street, which is an instrument that we have to, to captivate and to incentivate uh, individuals, young individuals, to come to the to the logo centers and play games and. Uh, like basketball, football, and other activities that make them, them that, that make them better individuals, and to make them invest in the in the future. What services and products does Banco Atlantico offer, and what type of clients do you cater for? The main objective of the bank, in terms of its of its client base, we work with emerging and upper affluent clients. We work uh, with private and uh, private clients so where we do wealth management and we do investment banking for big uh, for corporations and institutional clients. Uh, in terms of the products and services, uh, we do 
the, the regular savings and loans products for, for, for both individuals and corporate clients. We do trade finance, we do asset-backed finance, and uh, we do risk management. Uh, we, we give our clients risk, risk management solutions, especially in managing foreign exchange risk and interest rate risk, which is a very important matter on, on our economy. On the investment banking side, we do uh, corporate finance and uh, structured finance as well, uh, doing um, mergers and acquisitions, leverage finance, and those kind of products. Atlantico has come a long way, but what have been the bank's biggest achievements and what's next? I think the trust and confidence that our clients have put in our business and in, and in our bank, I think that's the biggest achievement we've, we've, we've had so far. It's very important to have the trust and the confidence of our clients, which makes us stay alive. I think we've also laid down a good set of foundations for the future in terms of uh, our organics and, and the logistics and physical capabilities of creating future growth. We want to be present in all uh, 18 Angolan regions by the end of 2012 this year and the, and the plan is going very well and uh, we, we think we can make it. Uh, by the end of 2015, we want to triple our, our, um, our presence in the, in the, in the country um, with more branches and more proximity with the, with the clients. Uh, another very important thing is the capital, market, um, capital markets business, which is uh, starting to grow in the Angolan market, and we want to be a reference player uh, on that business. We, are, we have already established and created um, an asset management unit, and we want to be a, very, uh, a key player on that sector as well.